Gervonta Tank Davis is reportedly training under the guidance of none other than boxing legend Mike Tyson for his highly anticipated fight against Floyd Mayweather. The tension between Davis and Mayweather has been building ever since Tank became a free agent, and it has now reached a breaking point, leading to their inevitable showdown in the ring. But where does Mike Tyson fit into this heated rivalry? Many believe that Tank Davis is unstoppable in his weight class, boasting an impressive record of 30-0 with 28 knockouts. His team certainly agrees, having expressed confidence that it's only a matter of time before he defeats everyone in his division. Davis's co-trainer, Kenny Ellis, has even challenged Mayweather, urging him to stop teasing fans on social media and step up to the fight. Ellis said, Gervonta can decode the shoulder roll. If Floyd can fight exhibitions, he can fight for real again. If he's as great as he says, let's stop playing around. The question now is whether Mayweather, who has dominated the sport across multiple weight classes, can return to face a challenge like this. Can he pull off a comeback similar to George Foreman's iconic return? Despite their increasingly strained relationship, Tank has acknowledged in recent interviews that facing Mayweather would be a tougher challenge than any current competitor in the boxing world. With the legendary Mike Tyson in Tank's corner, this fight is shaping up to be a monumental clash of generations, and the boxing world is eagerly waiting to see if Mayweather can silence the doubters or if Tank will emerge. Whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. Isaac Cruz? Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence? Outside of ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, September. No. Tiafimo Lopez? Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell to stay updated on future videos from the combat sports world. The complex mentor prod G relationship between Floyd Mayweather and Gervonta Tank Davis, once full of promise, has now soured, leading to a feud between the two. Mayweather, one of boxing's all time greats, once considered Davis, a highly gifted boxer from Baltimore, as one of his most promising prod GS. Under Mayweather Promotions, Davis received the mentorship and promotion that helped propel his career to stardom. However, the personal and professional differences that developed between them over time led to conflicts, and now, their relationship has taken a sharp turn for the worse. During their time together, Davis saw immense success under Mayweather's guidance. He became a two-time world champion and gained significant attention for his knockout power and flashy performances. Mayweather often used his platform to promote Davis, helping him gain exposure and pushing him toward stardom in the lightweight division. However, as Davis's career progressed, so did his frustrations with Mayweather and his promotional team. One of the key issues between the two was the control that Mayweather appeared to exert over Davis's career and public image. Known for being hands-on with the fighters in his promotional stable, Mayweather's involvement can be both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it provided Davis with a direct connection to a boxing legend, but on the other, it limited Davis's ability to establish his own identity. Over time, this control led to a growing sense of dissatisfaction for Davis. Much of the tension between them seems to have stemmed from Mayweather's tendency to make himself the center of attention, even when promoting his fighters. Davis, who was coming into his own as a rising star, seemed to want more autonomy and to step out of Mayweather's shadow. Floyd's repeated involvement in press conferences and interviews, where he often inserted himself into the narrative, reportedly rubbed Davis the wrong way. Tank likely felt that Mayweather was overshadowing his own accomplishments, which only fueled the growing friction between them. This friction was evident on social media, where Davis began expressing his frustrations, sometimes posting cryptic tweets believed to be aimed at Mayweather. These posts often hinted at his dissatisfaction with the way his career was being managed, including statements such as, Floyd doesn't want anyone to be bigger than him. This reflected a broader sense that Mayweather wasn't giving Davis enough space to grow independently. Another point of contention was the matchmaking decisions made by Mayweather Promotions. Davis reportedly wasn't happy with the level of opponents that Mayweather was selecting for him. Critics argued that Mayweather Promotions was overly cautious in choosing opponents for their fighters, allegedly to preserve their undefeated records and marketability. 
Davis, on the other hand, felt ready to take on tougher challenges and believed he wasn't being matched up against the best possible competition. At times, Davis also hinted at dissatisfaction with how Mayweather was managing his training regimen. Floyd, known for being highly involved, would sometimes offer unsolicited advice during Davis's training camps and even step in to train Davis himself. While this could be seen as a sign of investment in his prod G's success, it may have also been perceived by Davis as overbearing, adding to the growing strain between the two. Despite these underlying tensions, Mayweather publicly wished Davis well in interviews and stated that he would always support him. However, his tone sometimes seemed slightly dismissive, with statements like, fighters come and go, and that he had done his part to set Davis up for success. Meanwhile, Davis wasn't shy about voicing his frustrations after their eventual split. He criticized Mayweather for not doing enough to market his fights, suggesting that Mayweather was more focused on his own exhibitions and personal brand than promoting Davis's career. By 2022, Davis was ready to break free. He openly stated, he's always been about Floyd. It's time for me to be my own man this statement highlighted Davis's growing sentiment that Mayweather's involvement in his career had transitioned from being a helpful mentorship to a hindrance. Davis wanted to step out of the shadow of his mentor and carve his own path in the sport, leading to their split. Now, with Mike Tyson reportedly stepping in to assist Davis in his fight against Mayweather, the situation has taken another intriguing turn. Tyson, a boxing legend in his own right, is no stranger to public disputes with Mayweather. The two have had their own differences over the years, with Tyson once openly criticizing Mayweather's claims of being the greatest fighter of all time. Tyson's involvement in Davis's camp only adds fuel to the fire, as it's clear that the rivalry between these two iconic figures of the sport is far from over. What do you think about uh, Floyd talking about Ali? He, he, he's very delusional. He can't listen. Um, if he if he was anywhere near that um, that realm of Grand Ali, he'd be able to take his kids to school by himself. Okay, he can't take he can't take his kid to school by himself. And he's talking about he's great. Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can't take his kids alone to to school by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small scared man. When you look at both Gravanta Tank Davis and Mike Tyson as boxers, it's clear they both possess extraordinary knockout power. Having them work together in a training camp is a dangerous combination for any opponent who steps into the ring with them. Before we dive deeper into the video, what are your honest thoughts on the potential fight between Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather? Do you think Tank's raw power will be too much for Floyd to handle, or will Mayweather's superior boxing IQ and vast experience give him the edge to outbox Davis? Comment down below with your predictions. Many fans have been debating how a fight between the two would play out, and the outcome may surprise some of you. Let's just, let's just break it down a bit so it makes sense. For me, I'm leaning towards Tank Davis. Why? He's got stronger punches. He's a stronger fighter. He's got knockout power. He's the dog. He's got the raw aggression. So that's going to Tank Davis. Floyd got beautiful defense. Oh wow, even when he was pretty boy Floyd at Philly Show, it was beautiful. He's got defense. He had good offense too, but with less power. Do you know what I mean? Less power. Whereas Tank Davis has got the power with his, you know what I mean? Do, do you understand what I'm trying to show you? With the offense, he's got his power with the offense. So I I am leaning more towards Tank Davis in this fight. Both in their primes. Both of them. Oh man, this is this. Oh man, just thinking about this fight gives me goosebumps. But yeah, I'm leaning towards Tank Davis. I believe Tank Davis got is the A side if these guys were to face off in their primes. Only time will tell how this situation unfolds but fans are eagerly awaiting Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather to finally settle their differences. The history between these two fighters is what makes this potential matchup so intriguing and what will undoubtedly help sell the fight. That wraps up today's video. Make sure to subscribe to Boxing Bang for more updates from the world of combat sports. Don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you never miss any future uploads. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.